Pascal Lacks. You know, we just feel of that one of the primary duties of a rapper in this day and age is to become a positive role model in, in the minds and in the hearts of the children because a lot of these kids don't have positive role models to look up to. In most neighborhoods, drug deal is a role model. We're totally against black on black crime, you know. I mean, it's, it's so ridiculous in this day and time that our own brothers and sisters has got to pick up arms against one another. You know, we're killing ourselves off, man. And this is a definite message to all the young people who strongly believe that, you know, the violence is is nonsense. We got to get together as one. And if you look around, you see a whole lot of different type of rappers here getting together to prove that everybody can get together. It's time for people uh, in the rap music industry to begin to say, address not only their image problem, but the, the real issue. This is part two of the murder culture, you dig? Just showing y'all a little, you know what I'm saying? The mix of it right now, you know, different opinions and how many rappers was killed this year and what and what they've been doing. Cause forget all the conspiracy theories. This was what's going on with our people because we the only ones being attacked, man. This boss got our two point man. Let's get back to this. Hit that like and subscribe and all that. And you see a lot of these independent artists, a lot of these rappers that didn't even make the main news and the CNN. A lot of these, a lot of these brothers and sisters didn't even make the the news because of the murder culture. They put a lot of things under the radar. They, they, they hide a lot of things. A lot of these brothers and sisters wasn't even talked about or known about this, this in their local cities and in their local towns and stuff. They probably knew it, but you see it and you see what, 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 what they, I want y'all to look up this video by Bone Thugs, uh, Crazy Bone called the, um, he was exposing the industry and what they was doing to him as well. You know what I'm saying? And, and the prison industrial and, and 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 the executives and CEOs of the labels, how it how they came together to aspire our demise for billions and millions of dollars, and they still look at us the way they look at us, man. The Lord is coming, bro, for real. With, with a lot of uh revenge. Let's get to it. Bitches, so that cage closed. Bad little bitch, I know, but she not in my lane. Yeah. 
yeah. Niggas wanna talk that money, but they're not on my league. Yeah. Take it down, so we need that. Get yeah, them free bands, break it off of my team, man. Yeah. All these calls to the heart, I need to ask You play your part, stay out the way, then they gon' try it They feed the good, die young, so I be moving cautious Can't put my trust in the bitch, cause everybody plotted Bullet let me cold hearted Threw a flag in the game, he don't know what he started Now pop the guy you left me in this fucked up way Can't stop crying, this shit hurtin', bitch, I swing every day Twerk that, twerk that, twerk that, ayy Twerk that, twerk that when my brother died, I went and saw him. When your brother died, you cried like a bitch. And you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. I took my wrist and started whipping. You ain't about the shit that you be talking about. Hey, you gon' fuck around and make me bring them top to top. Run up on the money, is you stupid? Is you stupid, nigga? Yeah. Nigga, when. As y'all can hear, as y'all can see as well, like, you hear what they talk about. Like, don't get me wrong, y'all. I, I love this. I love the youth and I love their music. I love the, 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 the. I love, me personally, I love good music. If it's good, got a nice beat to it, and somebody ride and stuff like that, like riding the beat and riding the song, and you know what I'm saying, and, and it's a good flow. I, I love it. I love YB. I love Fredo. I love all them dudes, and, but I don't love youngins. They losing their life rapidly, man. Nobody can love that. It got to be a hope to it. It got to be a stop to it. You don't always got to be killing and op this and op that just to make good music. We understand the background stories and the stories these, these, these boys and stuff want to tell and stuff like that. But a lot of this stuff is just hot. Everybody's saying the same thing. Op this, op that. Dry snitching on their partners and a whole bunch of this, this, this for views. That shit, it don't, it don't be cute when people got to go to their funerals. It don't be cute when there's 50 bullet holes in one of these brothers and sisters. It don't be cool. No, none of the fans come out then. None of them niggas fans, nobody come out. It's like some of these fans with this murder culture shit, some of these fans, they breed and they be instigating and snitching and telling on... Certain things that be going on with some of these rappers, man. They favorite rappers. Some of these fans be getting, be putting out so much information and be putting out things so dudes just go. They want to nerd ass nigga, a damn laptop, propagating and saying all this and saying all that. Never did, never popped nothing, never slide, never did none of that, bro. But always say, oh, you ain't shoot this dude or you ain't do that or you ain't do this. Tw Twitter fingers, niggas. You did? I'm about to be, I'm about to be, I'm about to be, I just can't for, cut the light and stuff like that. But, uh, none of niggas be on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then be fans that never did nothing. They be in the suburbs. They got good families. Good. Hey, but they want to see their favorite rapper shoot something or get shot or a funeral and this and that. So everybody on YouTube will post their picture up and talk about oh, how this person got killed and this and that. But they ain't feeling the pain of these people families. They ain't feeling the pain of these people friends and, and the real fans of these people that like, really going through it. You know, in dark times. You dig know what I'm saying? Boss got a lot of 2.0, man. Coming back with part three tomorrow man hope y'all enjoyed the scooby-doo holiday show that's for all the children the kids that be on the you know what i'm saying for the holidays and stuff like that y'all already know I'm, I'm, I'm of the lord but ain't nothing wrong with getting with your people and your family man i hope all y'all have a great season holiday season stay out the way stay blessed up my nieces and my nephews they wanted to do something special for y'all for the kids and you know, and, and, and teenagers and stuff around their age to put out a good something good for y'all. So if y'all go on my channel, y'all will see the Scooby Doo 
holiday show. And that's my nieces and nephews and stuff on the hand their business and they're doing good and they're very, very, very talented. I'm going to find a way to link it to mine so y'all can easily find they videos and what they be doing because they, they, they hella, they, they very cool and they're very talented at what they do. There's one of them right here. Y'all can see a top athlete in Louisiana and New Orleans and stuff, man. So... Y'all gonna be seeing more of him and more of a, a lot of uh, my niece and nephew. The Scooby Doo Holiday Show is up, but hey, part three of the Murder Culture coming tomorrow, man. I'm staying on this dog, I'm staying and doing what I need to do, but it's very unfortunate, man. For real, for real. Long little Dolph, bro. For real, for real. You did find all them boys, you know. It's very unfortunate that people don't want to see. Someone flourish with a great life or rather see a nigga in the grave. You did y'all punk ass fans like y'all grand reapers or something, you feel me? And y'all don't really be on nothing, you did. And people that be propagating it and the government be on it. I'll be back tomorrow, you did. Boss Gallo 2.0. Hustling Bud, I am your host. I'll be back.